Okay, engine room. Full speed ahead. Here are some search results I found for full speed ahead. Giving voice commands doesn't always get you what you want, but it's getting better, and more and more people are using them with their smartphones and other devices. Here's why. Eric, are people really getting more willing to use voice commands with smart devices? Uh, yes, they are, Mark. Uh, there may be many reasons for that, but certainly one is the huge adoption of so-called smart speakers or home assistants, such as Amazon's Echo and Google's Home. Of course, as Brent Sitoris countered in a live video show I did with him and Dwayne Forrester about voice and devices, it's possible that a lot of the recent growth of voice usage is just novelty people playing with these new devices to see what they can do. And we'll provide a link to that show in the notes for this episode. But I still think we're seeing a trend toward growing acceptance of voice as a legitimate or even primary way of interacting with devices. Any proof of that? Uh, sure. Several recent studies indicate that, including our own. In both 2017 and 2018, we surveyed over 1,000 U.S. smartphone users about their voice command habits. As you can see in this graph from our most recent study, in the majority of situations we asked about, the percentage of people who say they're comfortable using voice with their devices went up significantly. Wow, so the guy talking out loud in the next restroom stall for me at the restaurant that last night, it was not so crazy after all. Well, I can't guarantee that. But I think it's true that it's becoming more socially acceptable to talk to a device, to get information, or have it do something for you, even in very public situations. Okay, so this series is called Here's Why. So let's get down to the why. Why do you think voice usage with devices is rising? Well, one factor has to be that so many more devices are voice enabled now. All the major smartphones have the technology built in, and through our smart speakers, we can not only do searches and play music, but we can control the room temperature, turn lights on and off, and do tons of other tasks without having to touch anything. Yes, yeah, so during the Olympics, I saw ads from uh, was Comcast Xfinity highlighting how you can talk to their remote to change programs, uh, record, rewind segments, do, do a lot of other things. Yes, actually, I, I have one of those, oh. and the voice recognition in their remote is really pretty awesome. And with so many opportunities and in integrated voice, voice functions in more and more devices, it's only natural that usage will become more commonplace. There are forecasts out there that by 2020, 75% of all internet-connected devices will be something other than smartphones, PCs, or tablets. It's a safe bet now that for most of these devices, they'll either have voice interaction themselves or be connected to a device that does. So you could be at the grocery store and ask your phone to, or your watch to ask your refrigerator how much milk you have. Exactly. <laughs> Thanks, Eric, for these insights. Now, our viewers who have any interest in search marketing will certainly want to keep up with your perspectives on this growing technology. Find links to Eric's voice usage study and to his panel discussions with his futurism friends, Dwayne and Brent, in the notes for this episode. And while you're at it, you can actually gain access to our personal assistant, Actions on Google, by just saying, ask Stone Temple and your Google Assistant, or you can install our Alexa skill if you want to try our app on Alexa. Try that out and let us know what you think. Okay, engine room. All ahead three quarters. Engine room? Hey, engine room, why aren't they responding? What are you doing here? Why aren't you in the engine room? Well, haven't you, Hoyt? The ship's now run entirely by artificial intelligence. We're not needed anymore. We're out of a job. That's terrible. Sailing is the only life I've ever known. What are we going to do now? No need to despair. I've already found us another opportunity, and you won't even have to change your clothes. Really? What is it? The community theater in town has a casting call for South Pacific. There, there is, is nothing, nothing like, like a dame. Nothing.